Hi Cancer, welcome to your December 2017 General Tarot Reading. It's Raina here. And uh, boy, I almost like couldn't get that out. Anyway, uh, I'm just shuffling the cards here. Please uh, look on my channel if you're looking for love readings for December or just a pure astrology reading. I have those already up. Okay. Okay. So the overall theme for December is represented by the Ten of Pentacles. And this is a card of financial affluence, really. Not just um, making ends meet, but you're um, really having a lot of success. This can be a family business. This can be some inheritance issue. That's the inheritance card, actually. We also have death, uh, even though that may not, uh, that's supposed to be the end result. But the death card doesn't have to be literal death. But with that ten of pentacles, it can be pointing to those kind of matters. And It's, it's interesting because in the past position, I get the star card, and sometimes this can be your loved ones who have crossed over. And so it's possible that um, if there is some kind of matter like this, that this person is either... I, I don't want to say that this person is directing... Uh, what is happening or anything like that, but they may be trying to um, comfort you or whatever you want to call it, counsel you about this matter. It's kind of like when people become very, you know, they can become so obsessed with what's happening, especially if you feel like there's any kind of unfair treatment that is being um shown to you if you feel like the person you know it might be like a close family member and you feel like you were um, thwarted from something that you were not given your proper due then you may be like because this is the card that is affecting you right now and this is a card of grief of disappointment um, you may feel like this loved one rejected you. This is a card of rejection in some way and that they don't care about you because of what, you know, what, what is in the will and things like that. And these kinds of things, I'm sure they happen a lot. You, people are very complicated and sometimes they do things because it's convenient for them. Um, a perfect example is if there's some matter involving um, a family member who was married twice and they have like a second family and those kinds of matters, the first family and the second fa family. And there may be extenuating circumstances that you're not aware of and you may be hurt by something that really you don't... you shouldn't be hurt by. It's understandable, but it's really not what's happening. And maybe with the star card, uh, this person is trying to give you some signs to let you know that they love you, that uh, they are not, that they didn't mean anything by what happened, and um, that everything is going to be okay. 
let me try to think of other scenarios for that Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles can, I, I connect it to the sign of Capricorn of all the earth signs. Of course, it could be other earth signs, but Capricorn is the 10th, in the 10th house. Um, and so this person, you know, unless you were with an Aquarius, and now you're with a Capricorn, but there is some kind of disappointment happening. Um, it could also be regarding a family business that perhaps um, you don't want to do it, but you feel obligated. The Five of Cups may be um, somebody else's disappointment. Your parents always wanted you to take over for them, and that's not what you want to do, and they are feeling that dejection. But actually, with the higher message, this is very important because this is talking about leaving a uh, situation that is full of conflict and choosing peace in your life. And this can actually be physical relocation. So in the case of somebody... who is, for instance, um, living in close proximity to family members like your parents, that may be what is kind of keeping you. That Ten of Pentacles for some people is an albatross around their neck that is keeping them um, dependent maybe on family to provide employment or to provide money if, for instance, let's say you're a single parent or something like that, and you feel like you're kind of owned by them because they're supporting you in some way. Oh, yeah, I was going to say also anything related to, like, for instance, um, child support and things like that. Um, perhaps you were hoping to get something and that hasn't panned out and what the card is basically saying as a spiritual message is know when to uh, like the Kenny Rogers song know when to fold know when to walk away uh, from a situation that is full of full of conflict that isn't going to get you anywhere and also when to f relocate because sometimes People are uh, stagnating in the area that they're in because they are too tied to the past. As, you know, speaking of the past, cancers really tend to be very much rooted in the past. And you're considered a traditional sign. You're very connected to history, to family genealogy, and things like that. And there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's just that when you become too attached to people, places, and things, it can um, limit your growth. And in some cases, it can really prolong the agony of a, a situation that is full of conflict. And um, so consider that. You know, with the Ten of Pentacles being in the focal position, Financial security may be first and foremost on your mind. And really, um, with the star card, that can be a card that's in the past position, but that's a card of healing and feeling that sense of maybe getting out of a situation that was quite challenging. And yet you may have to start all over again. Maybe you need to move to a new physical uh, location to reboot your life. What crosses you is represented by the Magician card, and this is a card of self-empowerment. 
you may feel like you you may make excuses for why you can't take inspired action towards doing new things. You may say, I don't have the money, but actually this is a card of resourcefulness, of saying that you have everything that you need. And maybe you don't have, you know, the kind of money that you could move to a new place and have just a, <laughs> a house or an apartment full of furniture or something like that, but you could at least have what you need. You could at least have things to allow you to function and that you're actually making excuses or that you feel genuinely um, incapable of taking that action. Maybe you feel like you're somehow um, being kept back. The magician is a number one card, so it's all about new beginnings. And yet you may feel like something is keeping you from some new beginning. In January, actually on the first of the month, you're going to have a full moon in your sign, um, Cancer. So even if you avoid doing anything new, and you know, of course, we are having Mercury, Mercury retrograde for most of the month, so it might be better to wait until January if you can. Um, you're going to have some endings that may uh, precipitate new beginnings. Because whenever you have a, an ending, there's a new beginning that is sure to follow. And the advice, or what's coming up, is represented by the Two of Swords. So this is about choosing, uh, making a decision. Maybe you have been kind of on the fence about something. If it's related to, um, my feeling is based on this reading, it could for some people be uh, deciding whether or not to pursue something related to some money that is that you feel is rightfully yours, at least in part, if you're sharing it with other people. And yet you kn there's a part of you that may feel like... Um, you're not sure if this, if it's worth it, if it could create a lot more grief, like that Five of Cups already suggests has been generated, negative uh, feelings. There, It could be that you're choosing between an Aquarius and a Capricorn, or someone that is an Earth sign. The other Earth signs are Virgo, and what's the other one? Uh, Taurus. The outcome is represented by the death card. Now, this could be that look to that uh, New Year's Day when you have a full moon in your sign, and that's a death to the old self that's going to herald in a new beginning for you. I believe you're going to have a solar eclipse in the summer uh, during your birthday period. I don't know the exact date of that. So that might be the um, first kind of taste of a year of change for cancer in 2018. Um, but the death card seems to indicate that even if you don't make a decision, that decision will be made for you. And it's always better to make a decision uh, because you have more control over the outcome. But um, either way, you can look for a uh, definite change on the horizon. And let's pick one more card just to see if that clarifies things. Ooh. Well, it sounds like whatever that change is, it's going to herald uh, alignment with a lucky streak and good fortune for you. So I'm glad I picked that extra card, Cancer. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and... If you'd like a private reading, all my readings are 20% off through the end of December 2017. The link is below for, you know, for that. Uh, the coupon code is Jupiter, <laughs> that, which is the ruler of that Wheel of Fortune card. Um, the coupon code is Jupiter, all caps, and um, the link to my website is below this video. Otherwise, have a great holiday season, Cancer... Blessings to you. Take care.
bye.